Yes, you're welcome to another beautiful edition of your show, Perspectives. You know that here on Perspectives, if it happened, it's happening, or it's been talked about, we bring you the gist on Perspective. I am your host as usual, Yinka Kenny is my name, and uh, you know I don't do this alone. I'm here with Abi Babdol. Abi Babdol, good morning, how are you? Good morning, Yinka, good morning viewers. You're welcome once again to another beautiful edition of Perspectives. It promises to be, as usual, informative, entertaining, just name it. You're going to have fun this morning. Yeah, it's fun. Talking about fun, we had fun last weekend all the way down at Oshun State in a town called Iraqi G. What that, went that, down? That's that's mouthful. That's a mouthful. Yes, yes, yes. Iraqi G. What went down at Iraqi G? Yes, uh, it was a day that um, the people of Iraqi G decided to celebrate their own day. They called the day Iraqi G Day. And um, at the event, we were able to talk to a particular Mr. Tunde Oyetola, the, C the CEO of Morphides International. He shared with us some inside information about Iraguji and Iraguji Day. According to Mr. Tunde Oyetola, he said long ago a powerful hunter settled under a huge tree called Igi Ira. And soon all the settlers came around to join him in prayers. This gradually became a regular occurrence where settlers gather under the tree to offer prayers for the town and themselves. The origin of Irabiji Day could be traced to a monarch before Oba Oyelade who had a firm belief that the activities of the settler and the town at large should be celebrated. The day is celebrated with prayers offered from the palace of the king and his chiefs extending to various parts of the town. This year's edition of this year's edition is really unique in the sense that the newly elected governor is a son of Iraguji. As such, people came from all parts of the country to Iraguji. He further elaborated on the tourism potential of Iraguji town, especially with the seeming male and female rocks, popularly called Tako Tabo. In fact, when I heard that, I said, wow, that's 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 a new one, a rock called Tako Tabo. So, uh, I think we should, we should visit Iraguji and, and really cover the Tako Tabo. You see, were not there, I was see, there. You saw the, you saw the Tako Tabo. <laughs> I didn't see Tako Tabo. I didn't see Tako Tabo. I didn't see Tako Tabo. Anyway, this year's Iraguji Day was held and it was a very colorful, entertaining and very educative event. Right now, we want you to sit back as we take you through what went down at the event. Please don't go anywhere. Sit back and watch this.
I'm very, very excited. I'm here to rejoice with my brother, Oba Abdurashkaya Tunjoli, Onabumi. He's a very good friend, and I think that he's my neighbor. We share the same boundary, and we have been running to each other's children very well. So I'm here to rejoice with him. Today's program was very interesting. Very interesting that in the sense that people turned out in mass to donate generously to the development of this community. perspectives where it's if it, if it happened is happening or it's been talked about we bring you the full gist on perspective i'm sure you enjoyed what you watched the old tradition the dancing of the the is it what we call it what was that, what was, that? was it the shongo or what it was just it's okay. the traditional our, our style. tradition is rich yeah yes, yeah yes, it was, it was a tradition beautiful culture. tradition yes. moving on right now we are in the segment of the news you know that in the news in on perspectives we bring you the news that made major during the week and what do we have this week hmm. oh is this our politician 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 anyway quickly because of our time this morning uh during the week we heard that there was a you know there was a conference or was it a seminar or whatever they call it anyway where all the presidential candidates yes, were supposed yes, to come yes, together uh to sign the peace pact and um uh Abubakar Abdul Salam was the uh, chairman of the committee. Anyway, when they were all gathered, we were told in the news that Atiku, as the PDP presidential candidate, yes, uh, Donald Duke and uh, uh, Madam is is a quite silly. They weren't there. They were absent, you know, at the event. Well, a few days later, I think it was two days later, Atiku came out to say that. No, I think it was the same day. Atiku said. He was not invited. Anyway, Abdul Salam said all the parties were you were invited. You trust our positions back and forth. Exchange yeah. of words. It's, and, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting very interesting. This is very interesting. You but, know? but you know what? I think two days later, was it two days or a day afterwards, Atiku and Ezekiel signed the peace pact. Trust the APC. They said. That was an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nigeria, we we'll always have the back and forth. And re re related to that is the is the Shoura story, also a presidential candidate. Okay, he, he has been on and on that. Why would they not invite him for a debate? The Bokassan organization of Nigeria has selected five parties for the debate, and Shoura is all over. Hey. That is a major. Candidate. Oh my why God! Would not be why, would, why will it be short change now? Uh, uh, yes, the people should see him. Of course, people of should course. see everybody actually. Are they, they could do it in or, parties. Or, or, or afraid, are they afraid of what he could say? You know, Shoura can talk. The guy can talk. Oh, he's talking to Nigerians. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So if Nigerians are not afraid, who should be? Anyway, <laughs> you know, if it's happened, it's happening, or it's been talked about. We give you the full gist on perspectives. Yeah, we are keeping our fingers crossed. And trust us, as the news unfolds, we bring, we'll it, bring it to yeah. you. Yes. Anyway, having said all that, I know, you know, there's been this back and forth between the APC and the PDP, you know, about the uh, president um, not signing not the, 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 ele the electoral, electoral bill. bill. Uh, after all said and done, INEC said, we are going to conduct 2019 election with the existing law. So does that mean case closed? No, we mean to come up. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that I bring you the gist as they, you know, they, they will still have, you know, this, there's something about this closed door meeting. Are they going to have a closed door meeting on this electoral bill issue or something? It is possible. Okay. It is possible. And there, there has been accusation, counter accusations. 
okay, you are not signing an electoral bill. What do you have to have? What are you afraid of? <laughs> you know? What's that? And then the, 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 the uh, uh, pres supporters of the president to say, why are you not signing the anti-corruption bill? Why are you not you know, presenting the anti-corruption mm -hmm. bill? It's just you no know, back and forth. We are used to that. Anyway, our fingers are crossed. You know, we give you the gist as it unfolds. What do you have there, Abby? Oh yes, still a presidency and uh, and uh, presidential election. Oh my God! Coming, you know, late yesterday, the court declares Jerry Ghana as the Social Democratic Party candidate, presidential candidate, nullifying the candidacy of Donald Duke. Oh my my! <laughs> oh my my! Yeah. Why is that? Why why is that coming at this time? Just few weeks. Well, uh, actually, mm -hmm. after after the elections, after their primaries, actually, even though Donald Duke pulled eight hundred and twelve votes, and then Jerry Ghana pulled six hundred and eleven votes, Jerry Ghana professor, which is quite, Jerry which is quite um. Uh, uh, yeah, quite close, but, but it's an internal party. Oh, it's not, but it's okay. It's okay. It's a you know, Professor Jerry Ghana, the former Minister of uh, Information, mm -hmm. you know, went to court to say that the election is against the party's constitution. Oh. You know, he cited He's Section 15, Subsection 3 of the party's constitution that um, the that, that favors zoning and rotation. So, if the party chairman is from the south, then the presidential candidate must be from the north and that was what it was that it went to court in november actually so the ruling was was done yesterday uh, that that declaration was made by justice hussein baba yusuf on friday oh, oh. So, uh, as as I, as it stands they, they, they can i, I think donald duke had signed the peace peace part too does it still does it still hold, oh. or will Jerry Ghana have to go to sign his own? No, no, no. It, don't, don't look. I wouldn't read in the news. We were only told that uh, Atiku and Ezekwe sleep. Okay. They sign uh, the peace the peace pact. Well, uh, as it unfolds, we give you the the, the, the gist here yeah. on perspectives it's unfortunate well i want to believe that um donald duke is a gentleman and he's going to take it um in good faith uh -huh. is it open to appeal it's within his rights how many weeks now well, it depends. Anyway, the show you can't the, talk for him. The show is still <laughs> perspectives. It's, it's all all over the news. All we have is politics, politics. Yeah, and oh, all that. Of course, but away of course, from of politics happening. now, our honourable minister for works, power oh. <laughs> and power, Raji Fashola, during the week he triple came out minister. triple minister. <laughs> he came out to say that look here, Nigerians, the federal government is not to be blamed for electricity crisis according to him look nigerians if you don't have electricity it's not the federal government's problem <laughs> especially since the sector was privatized that was what he said anyway he went further to say look you use your telephones when your telephone isn't working do you go to the minister of communication to tell him that your telephones are not working those are the examples he was citing he also said that those of you in businesses you, you, you do your businesses and all that. When the bank overcharges you, do you now say, okay, Minister of Finance, this is your problem. So if you don't do all that, where would you owe the federal government? Well, remember <laughs> the bank came, you know, recently to say if there is a failed transaction, you should report it and you'll be paid 10,000 respect, irrespective of yes, the amount. Yes, yes, That's yes. That's government yes. stepping in. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know. uh, anyway, that I yes, give yes, me a lot of my own for. job here, my duty here, is just to give our viewers the, the gist. As, yes, as, so, it happens. as it happens. <laughs> as it happens, as they hurt, as they hurt. Exactly. What do you have there, as they hurt? <laughs> yeah, we're going to, that will, that will take us to our uh, segment, hashtag segment. Yes. Now we talk about what is happening on the social media. On the social media, yeah, you know, yeah. we can't tell but to give you what the what the gist is on social media what's yeah, happening it was, on it was interesting in on, on the social media within the week let me give you the background story that led to oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah we are listening a couple were caught in a car and they were harassed the couple were harassed know, by the mob the public okay. they were you know trying recording them. they were harassed you know that that's just yes and what. the video i think the video went viral yes yes, yes. somebody came on twitter to ask the former PRO, that's a stack, as an assistant commissioner of police now, Abayo Mishogule, to say, having intercourse in the public, is it a crime? Mm. You know? Do you, do you want to read the tweet? Do you yes, have yes, tweet? yes, you yes, have yes I'll read the tweet. Okay. That's Abayo Mishogule's tweet. It's the one that, you know, 
uh, posted on Twitter. Okay. And it so said, he, and he, he answered, responded, he responded, he responded to, to the that question. question. That, yes. okay, having suckers in the car, is it a crime? Is it a crime? And okay. he said, categorically, no. Sex in a car, in a public place, is not a crime in Nigeria, provided, one, location is not a place of worship, two, parties are 18 years and above, three, the act is consensual, that is, agreed by both parties, four, parties are of opposite, opposite sex. He went further to state that if threatened with an arrest over above, Please contact at police, you know, putting the police Twitter handle. In other words, your car is your property. Your car is your property. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, but, decide, you, know, you can decide to do anything in your property. But, on your property. Not, 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 just, not just anything, depending on the place. Remember, I said, provided it's not a place of worship. Ah, if so, it's, if you're, you got, you're, you're, your property cannot be the place of worship. But it didn't right? end there. I believe that story. It didn't end there. It didn't end there. Okay, end keep on the Fuji. The, the Lagos Commissioner of Police. Edgar Imoyimi. Okay. Now came forward to put on the press that disregard. What, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what my assistant is saying that if you do it, you are liable to two years in jail. Oh my God! Now it's another. It's back and forth. Oh, it's Not, back and we, forth. We were saying initially we were saying back and forth from our politicians. Now it's now back and forth from, from the police. You now, know, it's inside the session of the law anyway. And the PR. Sorry? No, that, that, that is the former PR, but now this is the Lagos State the Commissioner of Police that is now saying that it is, is a that is, that is putting a counter, you know. Yes, yes. Counter statements to what the uh, former PR said. Which one should we take? Yeah, you take the one that suits you. I'm beating you. You better take the one that Commissioner has said, though. I mean, if, if you are a car person, you go with uh, Abaya Vichagule. If you are a non car person, you go with Commissioner. Please. <laughs> For your own good, our listeners at home, our viewers at home, right? please go with what the commissioner has said and yes, avoid the, the, being harassed, please. Not, not just being harassed, avoid being arrested and exactly. prosecuted because exactly. you are liable to two year jail term. Ah, yes. Oh my god. Oh, you feel two years is too much? Two, two, uh, for doing what nature, <laughs> nature allows you to do. Anyway, we got to go. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's just, uh, I'm afraid that's all we can take on the show today. I'm sure you had a beautiful time on the show as we did here. Yeah. Yes, um, the show is perspectives. You know, if it happened, it's happening or it's been talked about. We bring you the full gist air of perspectives. Till we come your way, same time, same station next week. From Abe. Yes, uh, let's just say we'll meet again next week by His Grace. Thank you. Yes, I'm Yinka Kenny. You can always connect with us on Twitter, on Instagram, and Facebook at Watch, Watch Perspectives. Perspectives. And on Twitter at C Perspectives. Perspectives. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, ye at Yinka Kenny. On Instagram and Twitter at Yinka Kenny. Till I come your way, same time, same station. Next week, I'm Yinka Kenny. It's bye for now.